through the first three games of the NBA season, the Phoenix Suns have recorded the best relative defensive rating in the league adjusted for strength of schedule. And a big credit has to go to Josh Okoge, despite being only 6'4", has matched up against all-time greats in Stephen Curry and LeBron James, and also a 7-foot sharpshooter in Laurie Markkinen, en route to recording this amazing defense. And the Suns have now started out 2-1, despite only having one game of Devin Booker and zero games of Bradley Beal, and a huge credit has to go to Josh Okoge as arguably, you know, the second, third, or fourth best player on the court at all times for the Suns uh, whenever he's out there. He's just been so impressive and was extremely key to winning that game against the Warriors. We're going to see a lot of highlights out of him, not only through defense, but also just making hustle plays, getting so many O boards, especially against that, or that Warriors team that really secured the game for the Suns. And this type of amazing impact is just great to see out of Josh Kogi. This is just um, just very impressive to see out of him. And his offensive game is also improving a lot on top of that hustle and defense that we already knew he could bring. I mean, those are going to another level this season on top of his offense going to another level this season, starting out the season shooting three of seven from three and also making some plays off cuts off of these amazing scores and shooters and passers that are on the Suns roster. So let's get into it, taking a look at the clips. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, maybe hit that like button. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, let's get into it with Josh Okogie right here. Uh, KD put in an up and Josh Okogie's all over it. Even though that's Christian Wood out there, 6'10 big man, Josh Okogie gets the board, <laughs> throws it back from out of bounds, gets it back in the hands of Kevin Durant. And although this was a horrible offensive quarter for the Suns, I mean, it's a good look and it's graded off of the Josh Kogi board right here. Josh Kogi giving it up to Yusuf Nurkic and J.O. going in sky and high for the board and fighting away from Roy Hachimura, who's got to be at least five or six inches taller than him. I mean, that's <laughs> that's just impressive effort from Josh Kogi. Everyone can learn a thing or two if you play basketball or you're coaching basketball. People are going to be showing, everyone's going to be showing clips of this guy, Josh Kogi. Another offensive board this time is going to end up drawing a foul. Once again, just out jumping Austin Reeves, outworking them and drawing the foul on Anthony Davis. This is really, really impressive stuff from Josh Kogi, but it just keeps on going. We haven't even gotten to the Warriors clips yet, which I think the, the most notable out of the three games on his uh, hustle type stuff right there. A loose ball, great recognition, picks it up, spins around, pushes it down the floor and they had numbers in tra transition, ends up drawing a foul. Here, good contest by Book, and we're gonna work backwards. Josh Okoge grabbing the game ceiling board, skying high into the air to grab that one. Here with five minutes left, a fight on the glass, and Josh Okoge wrestles it away from Kevon Looney, resulting in a Devin Booker layup. Let's see a replay of that one. I mean, he just takes that away from Kevon Looney, who had almost secured it and yeah it's too easy for booker going downhill like that no one's gonna stop him all credit to josh Okoge on the board now continuing on i'll put back off of the eric gordon miss i mean if you're just gonna be putting back shots like that that's such an just an easy offensive weapon especially with these type of you know already offensively great talents on the sun's roster being able to just put back shots just like that. That's an and one off of the use of Nurkic miss inside. If you're not going to be boxing out, like if it's Chris Paul or Steph Curry trying to guard him out there and they're not going to box out, Josh Okoge is going to take full advantage and get into the lane and just, you know, put it back. Uh, actually, that was Gary Payton right there who did not box out on Josh Okoge. And it's just way too easy for him. He's getting in there. He's fighting. And uh, here's a little Grand Theft Kogi, kind of like Grand Theft Alvarado, like uh, I'm sure we remember the memes that plagued Chris Paul, just taking it away from his blind spot and then pushing it down the floor, drawing a foul on Stephen Curry, I believe this was his third or fourth, and it was a pretty detrimental foul for the Warriors for them to pick up, all off of the seal created by Josh Kogi, just taking it away. Continuing on, Josh Kogi, I mean... He's got to get some more or O boards. He was just crazy on the glass against this Warriors team. He almost secures that one. Clay Thompson wrestles it away. Let's see if he can get it this time. Uh, not quite, but also another one that was just almost an O board for Mr. Akogi. 
a three from Eric Gordon, and Josh Kogi gets that one, draws the foul, and one on Dario Saric. Man, he's just so good at getting those O boards. He does not care if there's a big boy in there, he's going to take it away, and he's just going to, you know, just keep fighting. Everyone can just like watch this and see what effort can do for you in the, you know, the game of basketball. Josh Gogi is making a career out of it. I'm certain he'll be making more than a min minimum contract in this upcoming offseason simply because of the type of effort he's been putting in. And I just expect it to continue. That one's just a missed tip shot. If he gets a little bit better under control, another time where he gets a hand on the ball. Uh, there he ends up drawing a foul on Stephen Curry, another big foul on Steph off this pretty poor box out where Josh Kogi is already under the rim when Seth tries to start boxing him out that's gonna end up being a foul and man Josh Kogi just kept going man um right here <laughs> we are almost at like let's see how, how how long has this video been playing for we are at four minutes of offensive rebounds from Josh Kogi that one was a little tip out I believe um miss it <laughs> i almost missed it right there but a little tap outside to kd devin booker going downhill like that's gonna hit that three in the catch and shoot that's way too easy from him and another bucket created off of the josh Kogi offensive rebound tip out type stuff and we are halfway through the video and i think we're gonna get another josh Kogi offensive rebounds um i'm even surprising myself right here uh, ends up tipping it away, gets it into the hands of Grayson Allen. Man, he was all over the place during this Warriors game. Just completely dominated this team. Devin Booker had an insane offensive game, but I mean, the defense of Josh Kogi was also huge. And on top of that offensive rebounding. And we're going to start it off with a Josh Kogi defensive possession right here. He's going to pick up on Chris Paul. Good closeout. And I, I just liked what he did right there. I liked him just like switching around right here. Uh, he doesn't really mind that KD is, I don't know what he's doing out there. Josh Akogi just gets out there and closes out. Make sure that it's not a wide, wide open three for Chris Paul. Right here, Josh Akogi, he's sitting on Stephen Curry. He makes a switch, just a little tag switch, I would call that. D-Book just putting him right there and making sure that the closeout gets uh, closed out to Clay Thompson off of this little off ball action. And yeah, great close out by Josh Akogi. Continuing on in this game, he's matched up against Stephen Curry on the ball, of course. He switches away right here. Now he's on uh, Kuminga, then switches on to Looney in the paint. And that's some good defense, a little bit of a triple switch right there. We see Looney will, or sorry, Nurkic is going to switch on to Kaminga. And yeah, Kogi picks up on Looney and gets the stop right there. Uh, some really good defense right there. Kind of like the Frank Vogel credited defense that I like to talk about with Frank Vogels, making those types of timely switching plays. And you need the players like a Kogi who might be 6'4", who can still make that defensive play in the interior. Continuing on. Chris Paul trying to drive on Josh Akogi. That's some great defense, not fouling. And I mean, that could have even been an, uh, a foul on Chris Paul. Just, just some great effort right here. Saying put, I mean, it's Chris Paul. We don't expect him to really make layups at this point, especially if it's over a taller defender like Josh Akogi with great defensive positioning, just like right there. Josh Akogi recovering back onto the ball. Great defense on Seth. He actually falls down, not due to any contact, just because Josh Kogi's defense is just that good. Uh, the Warriors end up getting a, a bucket on this possession, but I mean, Josh Akogi was just great defensively on this one. Uh, there's a little, another little tip by Josh Kogi that was almost uh, boarded. Anyways, Josh Akogi, just great defense right here, man. I, I just really like this play. Uh, despite the fact Dario Saric got the top, the tough bucket. Continuing on to the Lakers game, he's matched up against LeBron James, makes this a really tough drive, he ends up kicking it to the corner, uh, Suns over-rotated, ends up being an Anthony Davis open three, but some really good defense by Josh Kogi on the LeBron James drive, almost a turnover. Josh Kogi picking up on deloading, just some really great defense, I think that was even a block right there. I mean, he was just all over the place this play. Switching on off, off of this guard on guard screen, gets through the Anthony Davis screen, stays on uh, deloading and ends up uh, maybe blocking it or just making it a horrible layup for deloading to try to make. 
here out on uh, Jordan Clarkson, switches on to Kelly Olenek, who tries to drive on the smaller defender, and he just falls to the ground. Great defense by Josh Okogie, just staying in front, and the Jazz end up getting a tough shot out of it because, I mean, Josh Okogie's defense, uh, maybe you could have boxed out right there. I mean, Olenek just got the free one, but here we got some good more defense, more good defense on the ball against Jordan Clarkson out to the corner. And I mean, that should have been a turnover. Instead, it's a Suns foul. Uh, not a great possession in the corner right there, but great defense by Josh Okoki. Actually, let's just go back to that play. I mean, I just I just really love plays like this. Seeing Josh Okoki just completely stopping an offensive possession. I mean, Jordan Clarkson's got nothing here. Drew Eubanks makes sure of it. And Colin Sexton probably stepped out of bounds, but Grayson Allen ends up fouling and that sucks. Uh, anyways. Uh, it was an extremely tough pass regardless, and it's a credit to Josh Okogie for making that happen. Switching on to Keontae George right here, um, staying in front, stunts on the Colin Sexton drive, then stays in front on Keontae George. There is absolutely nothing here in this possession, and it's all credits to Josh Okogie. That is an immense defensive possession, and we have to look at that a second time. I mean, look at this possession. Um, this was just absolutely beautiful defense from Josh Okogie. Just taking a second look, starting on Colin Sexton, he's going to end up, uh, you know, just staying out on him, exchanging with Grayson Allen, stays in front of Keontae George, who is having a very good game, despite, you know, being a young rookie, stuns the drive, stays in front, and KD little stuns as well, make sure Keontae's got nothing going, recovers to Kelly Olenek, there was absolutely nothing on that position for the Jazz, and they end up uh, running out the shot clock, they didn't have a ton of ball movements, but... Continuing on, I think we're going to take a look at some of this Josh Akogi offense in the pick and roll with Yusuf Nurkic. Uh, Book hits it to the corner and D, uh, Josh Akogi hits the three late into the game. Great shot by Mr. Josh Akogi. I mean, three for seven to start the year. And I mean, just making good offensive plays like this. This is going to be open all the time. Josh Akogi operating as either a cutter out of the corner in the dunker spot. Yusuf Narkic is going to be able to turn his head and make that pass. I mean, he could also take the bucket inside, but he could also just, just make this way too easy for the Suns to score. If Looney's going to be coming up high, Nurkic can just fire this pass inside, and Josh Gogi's not going to be stopped by Steph Curry this close to the basket. I mean, it's it's Stephen Curry. It's not, I don't know, Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, Josh Kogi, good cut. He ends up drawing a foul on Steph Curry. I mean, I think uh, Josh Kogi was, I think, responsible for drawing the four fouls on Steph Curry out of the five that Curry received in this game. I mean, Curry, this dude, Kogi, was all over the place. And yeah, just a great cut right there against Steph. He's a little bit tired, a little bit uh, sleepy on that play. And Kogi gets inside, draws the foul, and one off of the sidelines out of bounds play. Continuing on, Josh Kogi's in the dunker spot, give it up to Nurkic, and there's no one to stop Josh Kogi in the dunker spot. He ends up finishing really tough basket between four players, but it's a really good look when Darius Sarge is the rim protector in there. Stolen by Nasir Little, Josh Kogi pushing it down the floor has been amazing in transition, doing stuff just like that, going hard into the basket, going hard to the through to the defenders to get those types of buckets or draw fouls in transition. This one is tapped out by Grayson Allen, D book driving the ball, giving up to Josh Kogi in the dunker spot. And this time is a pass of the, out of the dunker spot to Devin Booker. Really great court vision by Josh Kogi. Sitting in that dunker spot is very valuable. And now in the corner, knocking it down from three, Josh Kogi. Let's see those other two threes that he hit uh, so far this season. Another one, Grayson Allen. Now back to Josh Kogi on the right wing and he knocks it down. Some really great looks from three, and that shot looks a lot improved, particularly on this one that he hit right here. I mean, it was just cash money. Look at that, man. Didn't even hit the rim. Swishes through the basket. Beautiful look, looking shot from Josh Kogi. And just looking at his game so far, he's averaging 11.3 points, 4.7 rebounds, 1.3 assists. They're only crediting him, crediting him for a one steal and one block for the whole season, but shooting 43% from three. 17 points in game is first game, 10 points in the second game, 7 points in the third game. He was only accredited for 5 rebounds in the Warriors game. Obviously, that was not the case watching that one. 8 in the Lakers game and 1 in the Jazz game. I mean, this dude was all over the place in the glass. As much as he's only getting accredited for 14 rebounds on the year, 4.7 per game. I mean, we saw him. He's all over the place. I didn't even show, like, 
any of his defensive rebounds. That's the crazy thing. We were only showing offensive rebounds, and that's, you know, how, how active he is on the glass. Like, he is just amazing. And that type of hustle and effort out of a guy who's your fourth or fifth best player, maybe sixth best player on the roster, is amazing. And we need to give a big shout out to Josh Gogi for having a great start to the season. And yeah, it's been very fun to watch. And I'm looking forward to seeing more Josh Kogi this season. I mean, we just had eight and a half minutes of Josh Kogi highlights from just three games this season. He is going to be a force for the Suns and maybe has proven himself to be the king of hustle, at least to start the year. And yeah, I mean, looking forward to more of it. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end and you haven't subscribed already, maybe scroll down and do it. If you haven't hit the like button, please do. That'd be great. You know, if you made it all the way to the end, I'm sure you enjoyed it. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Good. Bye.